Yo, what up everybody, Matt Mantella here, and today I am going to talk to you about what I keep in my everyday carry bag in 2022. This bag is the Herschel Pop Quiz backpack. It comes in a ton of different colors. You can fit a lot in it, but it doesn't get too heavy on your back. It has a bunch of cool pockets that I'll kind of take you through now. The first one is this main zipper compartment here at the top. The back has a laptop sleeve that is big enough to fit a 15 inch laptop. So of course, the first thing I keep in my bag, 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is the 2018 model. I'm really looking forward to upgrading this soon. Also, the laptop pouch in the back of this bag is big enough to also fit an iPad. I have really, really enjoyed using my iPad recently. This is the 2020 13 inch iPad Pro. I also have it in the Magic Keyboard with the trackpad. Wouldn't be complete without the Apple Pencil. Honestly, I don't use this very often, but when I do, it's a joy to use. The next thing I keep in my bag, of course, is my trusty tech pouch. This is the in-case nylon accessory organizer. And if you're interested in exactly what I keep in here, I did a video on what I keep in my tech pouch for 2021. And I'll leave a link to that video up here. A fairly recent addition to my everyday carry bag is this Sony ZV-1. This thing is near pocketable, and I have this awesome Topo Designs rope camera strap on it, and it's super comfortable. And if I'm on the go, if I'm hopping train cars, or if I'm on vacation, this is now my go-to travel camera. The next thing I'm going to show you is one of my favorite things that I keep in my bag. It is the Anchor PowerCore Plus. It is a 26,000 milliamp hour battery power bank. It has three ports on it, PD and two USB-A ports. And in a pinch, it will also deliver 45 watts of charging power to power a MacBook Pro. Another cool thing about this charger and this backpack combo in particular is that in the interior of the Pop Quiz backpack, there is a little pouch on the side that is designed to hold an umbrella, but it also fits this charger perfectly. So I store my Anchor PowerCore Plus in this pouch with the ports facing up. And then when I'm on the go, I'm able to run a cable from my power bank through the headphone pass-through port on the top of the backpack. The next two items on this list are jackets. The first one is my absolute favorite jacket of all time. This is the Patagonia Nano Puff jacket. This coat is extremely versatile. I wear it all year long in New York. It stays warm even down into the low 30s if you layer underneath it. It has some water resistance. The zippers feel super sturdy. It has a zipper garage here at the top so that you're not getting chafed by the zipper around your neck. It has two hand warmer pockets here on the side. And then on the interior, you can see this is where the stuff sack is that also acts as another pocket if you want to throw your headphones or your phone in a chest pocket. Another jacket, again, from Patagonia that I really enjoy is the Torrent Shell Rain Jacket. Again, it stuffs down into this nice compressed stuff sack. As a New York City commuter, you never know what you're gonna run into when you're going to hit some sort of rainstorm. A few specific details about this coat that I really enjoy. The pockets for your hands in the front also have zippers, so you can zip them up and keep your valuables dry when you're on the go. And it's great because it has these zippers underneath the arms that will open up and allow heat to dump off of you so that you stay dry and don't get overheated when you're on the go when it's raining. Next up, no backpack would be complete without some sort of note-taking device. This is a moleskin. It is the only notebook that I go with. Finally, in the bottom of the main compartment, the last thing I keep in here is an umbrella. This is a Rappel umbrella. It was extremely highly rated on Amazon. It's small enough to fit in my bag, which was my number one requirement for purchasing an umbrella. You can see how small it is, but it opens up pretty large. It comes with this nice stuff sack, uh, which is also cool because when this gets wet, you can put it in here and then it doesn't get the rest of the stuff in your bag wet. On the top of this bag, there is a little zipper compartment for a few small items. And it's actually really nice because it has like a faux fur interior. For me, I use this pocket to store frequently accessible items. So the first one, gotta have them. 
Ray-Bans, Clubmasters. I love the extra amount of saturation that the polarization on these sunglasses gives. The other thing I keep in the top of my bag here is a backup wallet, and this one is made by Tokens and Icons. There's also a pocket on the front of the bag here. First thing I keep in here is a Tide to Go pen. Absolutely crucial for me. I spill food on myself all the time. This is the Anchor Mag Go. It is a MagSafe capable power bank. So if you're an iPhone user like me with MagSafe capabilities built in, you can just simply magnetically charge your phone on the go, no wires, no problem. The other cool thing about the Mag Go in particular is it has a stand integrated into it. So you can stand up your iPhone and you can go either vertical or it also will work in a horizontal format as well. I also keep my Sandmark Motion Variable ND filter in this front pocket. If I'm ever shooting outside and I wanna shoot on my iPhone, it's always nice to be able to throw an ND filter on so that I can get the best results possible. Of course, as someone who shoots a ton of photos and shoots a ton of videos, I need to have some sort of external storage device I prefer these two terabyte SSDs from G-Tech. The last two things I keep in this pocket are potentially the two least expensive items in my bag. They are also the most game-changing items in my bag. Living in New York City, I do not have a need to own a car, but every now and then I need to rent one. So a long time ago, I decided that I was never going to let my phone rattle around in a cup holder or on the dashboard ever again. So I bought this super cheap plastic vent iPhone holder. Along with that, I also purchased this little cigarette charger. It has a USB-A port in it. It's nothing fancy. It's not quick charge. It's not power delivery, but it will charge my phone while I'm on the road, and that's all I need it to do. So that is everything I keep in my backpack. I'll also show you what I keep in my pockets. Of course, the iPhone 13 Pro, along with the Apple MagSafe clear case. In the other pocket, I have my actual wallet that I use. It is the Apple MagSafe wallet. The Find My feature is really nice. When you disconnect your wallet from your phone, it will actually notify you where this last took place. So if you do ever lose your wallet, you'll have a decent idea of the last time it was around you. Two other things I always have in my pockets. First of all, of course, the AirPods Pro. These are just the best all around headphones, I think, on the market. And finally, the last thing I keep in my pockets, Burt's Bees. If you watch my tech pouch video, you know I cannot live without this. Cracked lips, no thank you. So that is my everyday carry for 2022. If there are things that you use in your everyday carry that you think I should know about, please drop a comment below and let me know what that is. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you liked what you saw here, please like and subscribe. And if you really, really liked what you saw here, turn those notifications on so that you're notified each time I release a new video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time, which will be the best time.